Zah, it's um, it's it's Merc and Dirk here. I wanted to make um a video about a, th a thing I think you guys can improve, um, and I didn't really want to um tell you about it, so I just thought I'd, I'd show you a video. And it's the dribble handoffs. Um, now I know this is a, probably a Mike Wang thing. I get that, um, but I think it affects players. Now what I'm doing this, I can't actually tape over the top of a live broadcast. So I'm having to show you. I just pump through a whole bunch of dribble handoffs here, and the dudes don't screen. Now I I, I know I, I know how far this system's come along in the past few years. I get that, but I think the final step for these dribble handoffs is getting these dudes to screen. So you know you watch guys like Embiid and and, and Drummond and um you know, the the other bigs now, they will hand off, but they'll look to screen as well. And I think a pretty major um way you can get these to really improve is to get the handoff guy to actually set a screen as well um they kind of sometimes they naturally do just by, by way of body position but if you get them actively screening that just opens up a whole new dimension of this game and with the way you know philly and detroit and a couple of other teams use their bigs to actually run their offense through the high post Man, if, if you guys um, can nail this, and I know it's probably a physics thing, it just opens up your, your playbook um, exponentially. So um, I'm just, I'm just, you can just see, I'm just running dribble handoffs and it feels smooth, but um, we just need that, <laughs> we just need that dude setting that screen. Because um, at the moment, the guy, he, you know, he, he lays the ball off, which is fine, but he just kind of stands there and runs away, and sometimes he'll actually run along with the uh, the ball handler, which uh, it just junks things up. Like right there when Noel did it, um, not that Finney Smith would have scored anyway, but still, um, he just saw Noel. He kind of hand the ball off and you know ran with the ball handler. Dennis Smith did it again just there. So, oh man, I can just I can see it. It's so close. <laughs> I can see how close this is to being an awesome um, mechanic. Um, cause I love it, you know, when you, when you get your, um, you know, your, your freelance offense going and, and yeah, you just need a quick, a quick play. Um, these work often, but, um, oh, I can see they're like a seven out of 10 now. I can see it being a 10 out of 10 and I know that nothing's simple, you know, watching all your videos for the past, you know, a few years and i don't think this is simple i don't know there's probably all you know hundreds of hours of work which which i can't even imagine what you guys would have to do to get it to the level i think it needs to be um but i think there is a, a thing here now what i'm gonna do is i'm probably gonna cut out and i'm probably gonna go to um i'm gonna call one of the the handoff plays uh which i think um can illustrate some of the issues i am talking about and what you will notice is I'm not going to mention ball tangibility at all in any part of this video, which you must love. And also I want to acknowledge that you probably already know this stuff already. So I'm probably going to waste seven minutes of my time. Cool. It just feels good that I've got this off my chest, okay? So I'm going to set up a play um, here, which I do like. But the the... Dribble handoff plays, um, they work funny. I don't quite get them. I like um, using the, you know, the handoff mechanic, but I've got the play out on. And I find that, that if, if you do an actual handoff, like when the, you know, the, the players are intersecting, it doesn't work. Like it actually kills the play like there, right there. When Barnes had the ball and, and Smith came past, I, I did the little pass and the play shut down what you've almost got to do is wait for the guy to get a fair way past you i stuffed that one up but get, wait for him to get a fair way past you and then make it's not even a handoff it's more of a pass you know, i think here barnes gets the ball yeah okay that one there yeah, it wasn't wasn't silky smooth was it i think i do an ex a good example coming up so barnes gets the ball yep and then um smith goes past and, and the play continues once I make a, probably a three-meter pass, which isn't a handoff. And I find that with a lot of these handoff plays, um, doing an actual handoff kills it. <laughs> it actually stops it dead in its tracks. But once you make an actual pass, so you wait for the guy to get past you, that allows the play to continue, which I find, okay, that one worked well, but 
imagine if he set that screen. Imagine if Harris, Harrison Barnes set that screen, how good it would be. And I think I've got a couple of examples really soon. Right there, come on, now, come on. Right there, if Harrison Barnes sets that screen and Smith is coming off it, um, that is just, that's sim. But he didn't. <laughs> And every time I run one of these, I think, man, if, I, again, I just think, man, if, if, if these um, dudes given off the handoffs are setting screens, oh, Sim Nation, that, that would just be um, the cherry on top of a very, very nice simulation cake. So I think I'll go into a little, yeah, little uh, replay here. Harrison Barnes comes down here. Now, pop, he should have popped him right there. <laughs> he, sh he should have knocked Yogi into the second stand. Um, but he didn't. Now, I think I get another replay coming up here. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah, right, right there. Now, I think I go into a replay again. Here we go. I'm all over this. I love going into replay. I don't even need the little control menu. I know it by heart. So... Now Barnes comes in, hand off, and knock Yogi into the stands. No, come on, come on. I see it. I can I can picture it um, where the dribble handoff guy is setting these screens and your playbooks get opened up a lot and get a lot of these dudes... Um, you know, on Operation Sports, who are very, very, very happy, including me. Um, but, yeah, that's one of those. Hopefully, um, I illustrated my point relatively clearly. Um, if you want me to find some more examples, very happy to do it. All the time in the world. Um, love the game. Love it. But I just, wanna, I just wanted to show you one small area I think it can be improved. Okay? Thanks for listening. Cheers. Bye.